What's going on, buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Fortnite Creative. And today, I'd like to go over, uh, actually, what I figured out about how memory works in this game. And then also, uh, maybe give you guys a couple tips. Before we get started, though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that little, little bell there for the notifications for whenever new videos come up on the channel. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you notice when you log on to the Fresh Island, which is what this is, you're already at a memory of 9,281. Now, the thing about how most of the memory works is like this. Well, I'll explain this first. If you notice when you throw in a prefab, it costs a crap load of memory. But then when you remove something, when you copy something from it and place it, it only costs maybe three or four, sometimes up to 10, maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. But most of the time it's four or five ish around there. Uh, the thing is that the game actually needs an initial instance of the item and then it makes copies of it. So the initial placement of a new item in your island and or block area will give it a nominal amount. It will take up a nominal amount of memory. So let me give you an example of that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab a prefab right quick. Let's do let's do the clock tower. That's simple enough. Grab you, put you here, grab this and place it there. Now, right now we're at 8,457. Takes it a second once the blue goes the way. Now we're already up to 2,254 with only a small amount of walls and stuff. So like, let's go to the actual face of the clock. So right now we're at like, what's this? 10,254. Now we're down to 10,244. 234. 224. But then when you take that last piece out, it drops down nominally more. So now it dropped down about 100. So that was the last instance of that object on this island. So when you're bringing in new pieces, let's do that again uh, with the top here. This top is the only top here. It brought it below 1,000. Uh, I mean, a lot of 10,000. So let's do it again with these. And you can see this brought down with three, brought it down three or four, brought it down. Yep. And then we get rid of this one here. And it just brought down another about a couple hundred, 150, a couple hundred. So you can see that that getting these kind of pieces in line to work is interesting. And this is the last one of that. Or is it? No, there's more down there. So uh, like, as you can see, like that is a huge thing to be aware of when you're trying, especially when you're trying to like do a large creation. Uh, I like to add a lot of variety to the builds that I do. And this is the limiting factor in that because like, you know, I was kind of like, well, why did I just put down a copy of that? It only, it only added four memory, 10 memory. And the thing about it is that, uh, you know, well, as you guys saw, that's, that's the deal. So like it can, it can be kind of sneaky on you. So if you take an object and you're like, okay, I had just only, I had 5,000 less memory before I placed this guy in my build. And then you go, well, maybe it's the prefab. The prefab will delete that, and it's, it still doesn't lower enough. And then you, you have to go back and actually remove it from your in, initial build. Like, there's no more instances of it, like like this here. Uh, we'll get rid of that door. Oh, that was a nominal amount. Let's get rid of this one. And then the last one here and see, well, we're going to lose the whole thing. But initially, we lost about 210, 213 from all that. So it, it's interesting to see what, what all happens with that. This is... This is not huge. This is huge to be aware of. So if you're going through and getting like pieces from every set, that's fine. But um, if you're using multiple pieces from a set, you will have an additional memory every time. So, you know, you have to be kind of specific, you specialize, specific, whatever you want to use. I would say like if you're in a case where two items kind of are similar, one is a completely new item to your builds, get away from it and use the existing one that you have and find more creative ways to make it look different than the rest of it. This way you can make larger builds, have less space taken up and do more things. Okay, here's another tip right here for you. Uh, whenever you're doing your builds, this isn't a huge build it's a tip, but I, I hate doing redundancy, like doing the same job over and over again or having something you've got to just completely redo over and over again. So whenever you're doing your builds, especially in the large ones, yet again, that's what I've been doing is whenever a lot of times I like to add trim, um, but I'm still only shaping the buildings to get the shape. That's one thing I would suggest doing to if you're doing a big one, kind of get uh, the thing sketched out and then go back and modify it some to get it the way you want. But uh, one thing I have found is like when you're adding your trim pieces, this actual set has two different trim pieces. 
but when you're adding your trim pieces the corners on them themselves can be a little tricksy and what i've started doing too is waiting till the very end oh hello you waiting until i'm done with the pretty much the entire real build like okay i know it's where it needs to be before i start adding corners because a lot of times if you change something out uh it will, you'll lose your corners and corners take a while to put back up these pieces aren't so bad but the corners are let's grab the other edging piece here which i've used this for railing before too it, i mean there's no real rules whatever your mind says it needs to be is what it needs to be this is not a good exactly 100 percent but we go like this and this pull that up the way with the railing the edging the end pieces on these is, is a little bit tricksy uh well first off if you look at it it's set up on a corner that is equal equal to like a, like a found uh floor or something like that i was gonna say a foundation and if you see when you move it and then we rotate it it's gonna go on see how it's, it's exactly if you were to ro look at it like this way it's always on that way if you look at it this way it's like that if i look at it that it's like that like that when you mirror it it flips it on the inside of it so to get like the opposite corner over there you actually need to be facing in here if it was there we go oh, actually i probably need to put another one come on now and then you could actually put it in here and if you need to rotate it differently your angle of how you're facing it is going to matter so if you're on i can't really do because i don't have another ceiling here let's get all this i should have just done the ceilings in there that's what i get right okay we're just trying to show you some tips not all this craziness john okay so we have this if we look here and then i go to this side and then rotate around you see it's there so you can mirror here and if you're on this end here rotate around right there and you can mirror it in there so this is interesting how you get the corners usually what i'll do is get my first piece set up nicely where i want like i'm looking at it like this and i know for sure let's go like that so this is where the edge is at if i look at it like this when i pick it up when i go here and look at this corner it'll snap right in so when i come around here and then rotate and look at it it'll snap right in so it's not that's not a huge tip or anything like that but i think it, it helps out with workflow especially you have to have a lot of this going on in your build it makes life feel a little bit easier uh, let's uh i i i'm gonna say get angry but get kind of frustrated because again if you're changing out walls sometimes these corner pieces will disappear and then you got to go back and do all this all over again so i just save it till the very end to do it so this is kind of what i was doing with the, the the cars and stuff if you take a wall it doesn't matter what your pieces are actually let me let me just use this instead i prefer to use the regular one the ones from prefabs and stuff so let's take the one from you oops i already got rid of you and i got rid of you so let's grab a, a small set uh with ceilings that looks like it'll work let's just put you down this is not this is gonna go right here all right cool we have a wall if you're already building you should already have a set out but let's grab this one this is just easier to see when i'm placing i like it it's a little cleaner and we'll grab this and let's build us a four here this is a four by four if i could hit all the pieces of the right spot so this is only supported by that wall whenever you grab a piece let's do some decorations uh another thing to note is that whenever you're grabbing a piece and you're about to drop it it actually if there's less pieces in this of area it's defining it's it actually will go start in the lower left hand corner so the over there to the left you gotta kind of line it up like see right there so we know that our overlap is about two out and a few out there so if we can keep it like this and drop it like that it will line up in the lower left hand corner like this so let's say you grabbed all the pieces you want from your instance and you got a crap load of pre you know you're ready to get rid of the prefabs all you have to do is and it will get rid of most of them for you sometimes it's a little janky the flying the floating ones won't do it, but that just got rid of most of the prefabs it works also for uh the big old buildings too which is where my make happiness came from let's do this let's put you here are you in the ground you are now uh and then grab this and we'll come out six one and two three four five six two three four five one two three four five two three four and then fill it in And this takes a second to do, but it's a heck of a lot, fa a lot faster than having to go through and delete all the lower walls and floors to get the whole piece to break down and remove itself from the map. Let's use a bigger one. Let's go to, I say, let's just do this one, Castle Tower. Let's grab this. So this humongous thing's on our map, but is set on top of the floor we made. 
So now it's floating in the air, held by just one wall. So this entire building like this, normally you'd have to go across and remove all the walls to get the rest of the destroy. Some people might even just destroy it piece by piece and not know, but we can just do this now. Isn't that nice? So I was thinking, trying to find a way to get rid of prefabs pretty quickly. And I think that's about the fastest we're going to get when the current state of the game. Uh, th that in itself is really nice. Also, something else that I figured out too, uh, well, I've talked about it in the other videos if you guys are checking them out, is that um, not all the galleries have all the decoration pieces. So it's, it's kind of like a balance of trying to do... See, the thing is, is like when you go through and go through every prefab, pull out every single different decorative object, it ends up taking up a crap load of memory in the end because you've got all these other objects that, that you know, are creating one instance of them that you might only use one or two of. That is, again, where some good tastes should be kept into play and not be used. So let's just do this one more time just to kind of give an example, make sure that this thing works for you guys and you see that it all does. It's what it's supposed to do. This time it's all in a floaty area. We'll go out one more like that. Yeah. 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 Okay, anyway, sorry. We can also um, go to the wall, press right click and right click again to get in and out. This is another good little technique I use. Really makes it a lot easier to get inside. Now, if you're picking up something and trying to take it out, it, it, you have to actually find an exit for it or have already deleted a wall out of it to get it done. But still, just to get inside in and out of builds quickly, that's really handy dandy. Right click and then right click. I'm not sure what it is on mobile devices. So if you're using it there, I don't know what the answer is. So since this is floating up and only touching the ground from this, we should be good to go. So they got rid of most of the pieces, which again, I'd rather have to delete a couple of these than have to delete the in, uh, like the entire thing and then come through and have to do this again. So if this is, this is, I feel like this is a good way to get, you know, be a little more efficient with your build. So whenever you're doing stuff, and especially if you're doing the block competition, that uh, you, 